this video is going to be more or less lesson learned type video. And this is the first time I've worked on a vehicle where the brake calipers have to be rewound. They have to be turned in a certain direction while they're pushed in. So I looked on YouTube as many of us do, you know, see what we need to have, what tools we're going to need for what particular job. And uh, so I ordered this brake caliper rewind set. And, you know, this is a screw, obviously. This is right hand. I don't know if it holds true on all vehicles, but on my particular vehicle, you need a right hand and a left hand tool. And they sell these kits just like this that come with both right and left. I did not know that at the time, but now I do. So, and of course, most auto parts stores, you can uh, you can borrow these tools and loan them out to you. But I thought, you know, I'm going to have this van for a while. I might as well just buy me a tool because I'll be changing out the brakes several times. So if you get one of these kits, make sure you get one that comes with two of these. A right hand and left hand rotation. The calipers have arrows of which direction they need to be turned to be reset. On the passenger side, it's opposite. You turn it counterclockwise. And as you uh, turn the tool, the tool will loosen itself up. It takes quite a bit of pressure, inward pressure, as you turn it to get these calipers reset. Uh, so on that other side where the tool turns opposite and loosens itself up, it's a real pain in the butt. I just thought I'd put this video up because I watched several videos on changing the brakes on this uh, 2015 Ford Transit 350. And uh, on all the videos, everybody's like, just use your tool and rewind your brakes. And that's pretty much all they say. They don't say what a pain in the butt it really is. On this side, you know, we're turning clockwise. So it's actually driving the, driving the screw into the piston or into the caliper. And, uh, it's working out a lot better. It's pretty tough to turn. I can't, I can barely turn it. I can't even turn it there. I'm having to take a pipe, a short pipe and put on it. So I get enough leverage to get it turned. I also put a wrench under here to hold it steady for me to brace against. So that's it, just a video up to kind of give you an idea because I had an absolute fit on that passenger side and uh, I couldn't find any information at all on it. Thank y'all for watching and I'll see you next time.